fits very well with the whole sort of spirit of protectionism and greater statism, if you'd like. One of the key themes that we have for 2018 across industries is that there's going to be a regulatory backlash against industry disruptors. Mm -hmm. So whether you're looking at financials and maybe Bitcoin, whether you're looking at media and players over the top, players like Amazon and Netflix, if you're looking at you know, players like Airbnb, if you're looking at things like net neutrality in the US, um, one thing that sort of fits very much with the, the spirit of the times, if you'd like, is that perhaps disruption has now come at a cost that is a bit too high. Um, you know, the, the, the impact on sort of worker or, you know, the, the workforce uh, dynamics, impacts on society, the whole idea of different, you know, people are feeling disenfranchised. Uh, and we have seen across the board, around the world, from China to the US to Europe, um, a move by regulators, a move by policymakers and aspiring <laughs> Uh, future sort of politicians that have been pushed towards a more sort of extreme position or populist position um, against these more disruptive industries, forces, and companies. So we do expect this sort of regulatory backlash. We do expect greater scrutiny for a lot of these disruptive technologies. We saw it here in London with Uber, um, you know, sort of its license being revoked. We've seen it again here in London with the players like the Deliveroo and all of the, you know, sort of this new type of ecosystem in the workforce, and there's a lot of pushback against that. Uh, and it fits very much, I think, with the spirit of the times um, and the political climate of, of the day, and that's one thing that we're watching very closely. I don't, disagree, I don't disagree with that, but I think um, it's, worth, it's worth adding a couple of points to it. One is that, um, I, think, I think we both agree, but one is that a lot of this has already happened. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you look at our ratings you know, over the last five years, there's several sectors that have lost half a notch to a notch, be that utilities, telecom, retail, media, you'll know better than anyone, Peter. Um, that, a lot of that's already happened. You, know, you mentioned net neutrality, and maybe that may bring some of it back, but to a certain extent, their lunch has already been eaten. Um, I, I think that the other thing is that whilst I... I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I think that this disruptive technology will, will continue to push companies. And we've just written a piece of research about the, the US banking market. Um, the large high street banks pay you know, less than 10 basis points on their savings. The, you can go to somewhere like Max My Interest and you can go to a, uh, an internet bank, which is FDIC insured deposits and it will pay you about 100 basis points of interest. I think it will be very hard for US regulators to, to, uh, to tell their population that, you know what, we're not going to give you the 100 basis points of interest. You're going to have to go and get that 10 basis points over there. I think it's more likely that they would say to the US banks, you need to speed up uh, on raising your interest on savings rates as interest rates go up. So I, I, I don't think it will be a one-way street. I think that there will continue to be pressure on these.